What's up guys, Tardy Sloth here. I just wanted to do a quick little review on an item that I just bought um, a couple of days ago. It just came in today. Um, I just recently moved. In fact, we're still in the middle of unpacking from the move. Uh, and the new house has uh, what you would call a carriage house or uh, just a back house. It's not connected to the house. It still has electricity. It has uh, plumbing and all that other stuff. But it is my office. It's what I turned into my office. So my rig is out there and my router is out there. The problem is that it's this far away. See that little house back there? It's this far away from the house, which really stinks when it comes to Wi-Fi. It does not reach into the house at all. Like it, I can sit right here on the sliding glass door on the back porch and I can connect to the Wi-Fi and it's decent. But once I step foot in the house, and possibly because it is a cinder block home, the Wi-Fi just doesn't reach in like it's supposed to. So, I went and bought this little thing. It's made by TP-Link. It's a, just a range extender. Um, but it does 2.4 2 gigahertz and it does 5 gigahertz uh, uh, frequency. So it do, it's supposed to be better. Um, and I went ahead and I hooked it up. It's super easy to hook up. Uh, just plug it in next to my router and let it, let it boot up and everything like that. And uh, went onto my computer and I connected to it I found it it has its own uh, network on it and I found it and I connected to it and it brought up a web I just opened up the Internet Explorer open up uh, Firefox and it brought up the web page for the setup for the thing uh, which is super easy as well you just it's a bunch of click and next click next click next you choose your home uh, network which happens to be my actual router it, it searches for it, it finds a 2.4 gigahertz band, and you just click next and <laughs> just keep going next. Once that's done, all you gotta do is unplug it from the wall next to the router and go to what they say, go to a halfway point at, in the home uh, between your router and where you want it to reach. So what I did was um, I plugged it in right inside the sliding glass door. There's a plug against the wall. Uh, I'll show you, hey, hang on. I gotta be quiet when I'm in here because my wife and kid are sleeping. My wife just had surgery yesterday, so she's been sleeping a lot lately, but it's okay. So I just plugged it in right here. If you can see that. There you go. Just plug it in right there. Now you see that the light is red. The light is red it actually means it's connected. It is connected, but it says it's too far away. Uh, but it still works. So if, if in order to actually get it to turn green, I had to plug it into the garage. But if I plug it in the garage, uh, I get a faster speed um, at the front of the house. But as you move back to the back of the house, you just don't get anything. You don't get any signal in the bedroom. It's, the house is not that big. But I think it's like 1,700 square feet or something like that but um, it still doesn't reach all the way to the back. So what I did was plug it in here. I've got a weaker signal, it's a slower speed. Um, I have the Comcast Xfinity with a 75 meg boost speed. Um, so right now when it's right here, and it's in the red, it still works. It still works, mind you. Uh, but I'm getting, let's see, let's do a speed test real quick on the computer that's in the kitchen. I think it's like, it's anywhere between three and five. It just kind of fluctuates, really. And now it's going to be slow. All right, well, yeah, see, there you go. Two and a half megs per second, which is really super slow. But it, it really, it, the only purpose for it is to get Wi-Fi in the house so the kids can come in here after school and do their homework. They have, you know, homework is done mostly all online. 2.52 download, which that's really crappy. <laughs> that's really sucky. Like I would never pay for 2.5 gigahertz download, but it does it does what it needs to do. The kids need to do their homework uh, in the house, and that allows them to do that. The iReady uh, website does not take uh, that much to to do. So, um, but it works. It is a cool little product. It was only like 25 bucks or 29 bucks, something like that. It wasn't it wasn't super expensive. Um, but it does the job. It's a lot better. I mean, there are other ones that were like $75, $85, $100, but I was concerned because of a, the cinder block home. I know Wi-Fi doesn't work too great to, through cinder block, uh, and I didn't want to spend a bunch of money on something that I might not be able to take back 
or might have to pay a restocking fee or something like that on um, <laughs> and waste all that money because I don't I'm not made of money so uh, this one was a, a it was a cheaper alternative I got off of eBay it was actually fulfilled by Amazon which was strange um, but it came in today and I hooked it up it was super easy it took maybe 10 minutes and that was what there's two different methods you could use you could either if your router has the WPS button you can actually plug it up next to your router hit the WPS button on your router and then hit the little they have a little WPS button on the actual unit itself the range extender and it's supposed to connect automatically and you have to, don't have to do anything manually but that didn't work for me for some reason I don't know it, it's probably Xfinity's routers that that uh, block it from doing so or whatever but basically once I plug it in where I needed to plug in right here next to the sliding glass door I go to the computer or I go to my phone and I connect to um, I renamed this extenders uh, SSID is um, the same one as, as my normal router but I just put extension on the end like EXT so I know the difference between the two uh, if I'm out here on my phone then I can connect to my regular Wi-Fi and I know the difference and it's a lot faster actually because out there actually I'm hardwired to my router and I get about a hundred megs a second sometimes um, which is pretty cool <coughs> excuse me but in here it's only uh, about like you like you saw two and a half to three megs it's sufficient for what it needs to be uh, back in the back bedroom um, you know we don't have any devices in there except for our phones my wife and I so the only reason we'd ever need Wi-Fi in the bedroom is if she wanted to just like cruise Facebook uh, for a few minutes while she's laying in bed or something like that which she still doesn't do that often but um, other than that it works I liked it a lot it was um, I think it was a smart buy uh, it'll it'll serve the purpose now if you're trying to get super huge ranges you're not gonna get that um, unless you are in like a stucco home or something like that that's not cinder block definitely not but if you have just a large home and you and you need it to extend throughout your home or you have a, a multi-story home and you just need it to reach to the second level that's going to be super easy the Wi-Fi is going to reach there a lot better than than through a cent two cinder block because both of these the main house is cinder block and the back house is cinder block so it has to go through two separate cinder block walls so I'm guessing it's not super easy for it to do that um, so but but for 25 bucks you really can't complain I mean it, it does the job it does what it needs to do I just watched a trailer on YouTube on the computer in there at that two and a half meg speed uh, in 720p so it's not and it didn't lag at all it didn't block it didn't slow down I had it set not to auto quality I had it set to 720p so it would stay there and not fluctuate with the the, the quality of the video and it played the whole was it it was the new the trailer for Logan uh, old man Logan the new uh, Wolverine movie and it was flawless. I mean, it worked flawlessly. It's no big deal at all, which is great. If it plays YouTube videos at 720p, uh, even if it's only a three-minute video, that's good enough for me for, for pretty much anything. I'm not going to do any gaming on the computer inside. Like I said, it's just for the kids to do their homework and things like that. So, Anyway, guys, if you like this video, uh, drop a like. If you want to check out the... the I will put the link to the, the, uh, the range extender and Amazon. Now I didn't buy it off of Amazon. I bought it off of eBay, but um, they're on Amazon for like 29 bucks. They're this the same amount, you know, pretty much wherever you go. So I'll go ahead and put the link, link down there for it. It's super easy to set up. It's relatively inexpensive. It's not too expensive, and, and it'll work uh, just fine, e even if you have Cinder Block Home. It'll still work as long as you're not going too far. I don't think this is maybe 40 feet from the back house to the, the front house. Maybe a little bit bigger maybe 50 or 60 feet, but I'm not a good judge of that kind of thing. It's out there. <laughs> That's how far away it is. But anyway, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.